Yeah, I play video games. I started with Atari and a television, and now it's Xbox and even a little Oculus VR. The games have gotten so good, it's often hard to stop playing. If we don't set limits, it's easy to spend too much time playing. But parents are busy and aren't always aware of how much time their kids or their spouse is playing. Well, once again, Home Assistant has a solution. Let me show you how to set up Home Assistant and Xbox API to track how much time kids are playing, get alerts when you hit certain limits, and even send them a message through Xbox when it's time to turn it off. Sorry, boys. Step one, head over to the unofficial xboxapi.com and register. There's a free tier and then several paid tiers. The biggest difference for me between the free version and the paid version is with the paid version, you get to send messages through Xbox Live. And I think that's important because when I send my kids text messages about, hey, it's time to get off, they ignore me. But if a message pops up on their screen that says, mom's on her way to your room with a rolling pin, they listen. And Alan, the guy who created xboxapi.com, is a good guy and a home assistant enthusiast as well. So I'm happy to help support him. Thanks, Alan. Registration's pretty easy. You'll have to connect with your Xbox Live account. So whatever email and password you use for Xbox Live, you'll need that here. You'll probably get an error message from Xbox the first time you sign in. But along with that error message comes the instructions on how to clear it and approve Xbox API connecting on your behalf in the future. Once you're signed in, hit the little gearbox to go to your profile page. You're gonna need this Xbox API key and your profile user ID. The profile user ID is also called XUID. On the documentation page, there's this handy little list of available endpoints that'll show you all the different information that you can get from Xbox API. You're gonna need the XUID code for any Xbox Live accounts that you wanna track or interact with. To get your own XUID, click this second endpoint. And to get the XUID of anybody on your friends list, click option number 12. It may look like an error, but it's really just in JSON format. To find someone's XUID from your friends list, find their gamer tag, and then just grab these numbers after ID. That's their XUID. You can click through a few more of these just to see what other kind of information is available. But with the free account, you're limited to 60 requests per hour. So if you click too many of these, you may go over your limit pretty fast. So I grabbed the XUID for myself and my two sons. That's all we need to do with xboxapi.com for now. The rest of the setup happens in Home Assistant. Now open up your configuration.yaml file and under your sensors, create a new sensor. The platform is Xbox Live. You'll need your API key and then the XUID for any of the Xbox gamer tags that you want to track or interact with. With that simple sensor entry, you'll get these little gamer tag icons and they'll tell you when somebody's offline or online. But that's not quite good enough. I want to be able to know how many hours per week me or the boys have been on Xbox Live. That's this little sensor here. So to do that, we create another sensor for each of the Xbox gamer tags that you wanna track. And it'll look like this. To get that total number of hours per week, we're gonna use a history stat sensor. For this kind of sensor, you need, of course, your entity ID for the sensor, the specific state that you wanna track, and you can also specify the type of sensor that you're using. So if you weren't tracking hours, you could track something else with an absolute count or maybe a ratio of what percentage of the time were you in that state versus any other state. Now, just so you don't get carried away and think that I'm smarter than I actually am, to get the format for that start entry, I just copied one of these examples. There's several examples here, and I'm sure you'll find one that'll fit for whatever it is you're trying to do. These history stat sensors are really cool. I set up a couple others to track how much time I've spent at work for the past eight days and for the past month. Be careful because that can be a bit of a depressing statistic when you realize you're spending two thirds of your life at work. Now to get another useful bit of information, I set up something called a history graph. The history graph essentially takes what you see when you click on a sensor and puts it in a card that stays on your overview page all the time. It shows you that sensor over a period of time that you specify. So to set that up, we put a new entry in our configuration.yaml file. This isn't a sensor, it's a new kind of entry. What you need to specify for the history graph are the entities that you want to track, how much time you want the graph to show. So for me, I put 168 hours. 
And then how often do you want the graph to refresh? When it's all done, you get a graph that looks like this. And now for the grand finale, sending an Xbox Live message from a Home Assistant automation. I could not have done this without Ludeus. Which reminds me, if you're a Home Assistant user and you haven't joined the Discord chat yet, you're missing out on a huge resource. And you may be able to contribute and help somebody else who has a problem that you've already solved. It's a really great community, so if you haven't yet, check it out. Now to be able to send a notification to an Xbox Live user, you need a notify entry in your configuration.yaml file that looks like this. This here is your Xbox API key, and this is the XUID of the person you want to notify. Without this X auth line, you won't be able to send messages. After you have the notify set up in your configuration.yaml, you need to set up an automation that looks like this. In this automation, the trigger is when my Xbox sensor has been in the on state for two hours. When that happens, it'll use the notify that I just set up to send whatever message I want. The best part about this is this message will pop up on the screen in front of whoever you send it to. So if the boys aren't looking at their phones, or if perhaps they're ignoring you on purpose, at least this will pop up on the screen in front of them. That just makes it a lot harder to ignore. The next level is sending a message to mom that says, Zach's been on the Xbox too long. Go get him. You don't have to send the message to Xbox Live. You could just send a message to your phone, which is what this automation does here. So if you're not using the paid level of Xbox API, you can still do something like this to get a text message on your phone or your wife's phone when somebody's been on the Xbox longer than you'd like. Well, that's it. Xbox Live integration with Home Assistant. Mrs. Z's is always getting after the boys for being on the Xbox too long. So this one got a full 5 out of 5 on the WAF. But only like a 0.5 out of 5 on the kid approval factor. Sorry, boys. Now be careful with this one. When I first got it working and showed the most recent week's data, there was a terrible error. It showed that I had been on the Xbox longer than either of the boys. Well, that's it. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, adios. To find out what I'm doing next, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help me out, if you need more help than I can provide, and if you just want to go to one place for all this stuff,